Your doctor has recommended that you undergo a cardiac catheterization or peripheral angiogram. This video will give you information to help you understand the procedure and hopefully decrease your anxiety related to the procedure. A cardiac catheterization is an invasive procedure which will give your doctor detailed information about your coronary arteries. These are the vessels that provide blood flow to the heart muscle. A cardiac catheterization gives information about the heart valves, pressures in the chambers of the heart, and how the left ventricle functions. The peripheral angiogram is an invasive procedure which will give your doctor information regarding peripheral vessels. These are any of the blood vessels that are located outside of the heart. Prior to your procedure, your doctor will want to gather information regarding your health history. You may have this done in your doctor's office, or you may be asked to come to the hospital for pre-admission testing. For your pre-admission testing appointment, you will be asked to come to the second floor of the hospital to the cardiovascular center. After completing some brief history health forms, you will meet with one of the cardiovascular nurse practitioners. A health history will be obtained, and if a physical assessment has not been performed in the past month, it will be done at this time. It is important to bring a complete medication list with you and to notify the nurse practitioner of any allergies to medication, iodine, seafood, latex, or x-ray contrast dye. Your pre-admission testing may also include routine blood tests, an EKG of your heart, and a chest x-ray. Your doctor will determine what tests you will need. The day prior to your scheduled test, you will receive a call from the interventional lab staff between 4 and 6 p.m. to inform you of the time you should report to the hospital. Please do not eat or drink anything after midnight the night prior to your appointment. You will be told which medications you should take the morning of your procedure. Please shower or bathe thoroughly before arriving to the hospital and pack necessary belongings if you are asked to spend the night. Bring any personal items you may need. You may also want to bring a book or magazine. Expect to spend four to six hours at the hospital for the procedure. If you have had a stent placed, you will spend the night in the hospital for observation. For safety, you will not be allowed to drive for 48 hours after the procedure. Please make arrangements for a ride and to have a responsible person stay with you at home the night after the procedure. The morning of your procedure, come directly to the cardiovascular center at your scheduled time. There will be room for your family members to wait during the procedure. There is a television and Wi-Fi available if needed. The staff in the cardiovascular center will be there to give your family information and to update them as the procedures progress. The doctors will also speak with family members in the cardiovascular center following the procedure. One of the members of the interventional lab staff will accompany you from the cardiovascular center to the interventional lab. You will be asked to change into a patient gown wearing only your socks. Bags and lockers will be available to store your personal items, but please do not bring any valuables with you. The nurse in the lab will weigh you, check your vital signs, and perform a physical assessment. You will be placed on a heart monitor, and an intravenous line will be started in your arm. This intravenous line will be used to give you IV fluid and medications. The nurse will review the information from pre-admission testing and ask you additional questions if needed. The nurses will assess the possible sites for the procedure. It could be performed through the radial artery in the wrist or the femoral artery in the groin. This decision is made by your doctor. Both possible sites for catheterization will be prepped. Many times a light sedative oral medication is given to help you relax prior to the procedure. This entire process will take approximately one hour. You will be transported into the catheterization lab by the nurses and technologists that will be caring for you during the procedure. The procedure room is cool in temperature, so you will be given warm blankets for your comfort. From the stretcher, you will be asked to move to the procedure table or you will be assisted to the table if needed. The table is fairly hard and narrow. The circulating nurse during your procedure will be there to assist you with any needs you may have. The nurse will administer any medications the doctor orders for you during the procedure. 
It is common to receive intravenous sedation after the doctor arrives in the procedure room. You will be positioned for the procedure and the procedure access site will be cleaned with an antibacterial solution. Sterile drapes will be placed over your body. The staff will be dressed in sterile gowns, gloves, and masks to prevent you from infection. At the beginning of the procedure, the doctor will inject a local anesthetic to numb the area where the catheter will be inserted into your artery. This will feel like a pinch or sting. After the local anesthetic takes effect, you will only feel pressure at the access area. If you do feel any pain, let the staff know immediately. Next, the doctor will insert a needle into your blood vessel, followed by a guide wire. A short hollow tube will be placed into your artery over this wire, which is then removed. This is called the sheath. The doctor will guide the catheter through this sheath to visualize the coronary arteries of the heart or any peripheral arteries, such as your legs. When the catheter is at the opening of the artery, the doctors would like to view contrast dyes injected into the artery and an x-ray picture is taken. Many times a warm flushing or tingling sensation may be felt when the dye is injected. You may be asked to take a deep breath or turn your head from side to side in order to get the camera closer to you. Your doctor and the interventional lab staff will be there to inform and support you during the procedure. During the procedure, multiple catheters are used to view different arteries. When all the information is obtained, the doctor will decide on your plan of care. If an intervention is needed, the doctor will briefly explain this to you and then proceed with the angioplasty or stent placement. If an interventional procedure is required, a special catheter with a stent will be inserted. A stent is a small metal coil or mesh that is placed inside your artery to enlarge the passageway and allow more blood to flow to the heart muscle or to your extremities. The stent will remain in your artery permanently. During this procedure, the circulating nurse will give you additional medications intravenously and also by mouth. You will begin taking new medications during your hospital stay and continue when you return home. During this time, it is important to let your nurse know if you have any concerns, such as chest discomfort, shortness of breath, itchiness, or have to urinate. The stent is positioned at the site of the blockage within the artery. The stent balloon is inflated, and the stent expands to tack back the plaque that is obstructing the flow of blood in the artery. The stent remains in place, keeping the artery open. After your procedure is completed, the sheath will be removed. The sheath removal can take place in the catheterization lab or in the post-pre-post procedure area. For femoral or groin access procedures, manual pressure may be applied or a closure device may be used. This decision is made by your doctor. If the radial artery access is used, the sheath is removed and a transradial or TR band is placed on your wrist. This clear bracelet device maintains pressure lightly over the radial artery. The nurses and technologists will explain the process of sheath removal and keep you updated as to when you will be discharged or taken to your hospital room. If you are scheduled to go home the same day, you will recover in the pre-post procedure area for about two to four hours. This depends on the access site and if a closure device is used. You will be monitored closely at this time, paying particular attention to your vital signs, access site dressing, and your pulses. It is important to let nurses know if you have any bleeding or oozing from the procedure access site. You will be shown how to hold pressure to these sites if bleeding would occur. This is a safety measure and rarely occurs after leaving the hospital. During recovery time, you will rest and relax prior to going home. Reiki therapy treatments can be provided before or after your procedure at your request. The nurses will offer liquids to drink and a light meal. You will be asked to drink two quarts of fluid after the procedure throughout that day. This is to help flush the contrast dye out of your system. The nurses will assist you to walk you to the bathroom to assure you feel comfortable at home. Expect to spend four to six hours at the hospital for the procedure. If you have a stent placed, you will spend the night in the hospital for observation. 
When it is time for you to go home, your friends and family will be brought back to the interventional lab for your discharge instructions. You will be given an individualized discharge plan that will include detailed information regarding your activity, diet, medications, follow-up appointment, and when to contact the doctor. You will be assisted to change into your clothes and transported to your car in a wheelchair. Be sure to have someone ready to drive you home and to stay with you at home the night after the procedure. For safety, you will not be allowed to drive for 48 hours after your procedure. The results of your procedure will help your doctor to identify your specific problem and recommend the best treatment. This can mean a change in lifestyle, diet, exercise, or a new medication.